Please note that the models shown are initial samples from the molds or digital renderings. Some of these are not fully assembled, painted or printed. Masterpiece of Engineering The Bailhack Snow Blower in 1 to 160 The railway runs in all weathers, an advertising slogan from times gone by that doesn't necessarily always apply today. However, to ensure that the railway runs reliably, at least in winter and after heavy snowfall, various snow clearing machines are available. These include the 716 series, which is kept at various stations for special operations. The vehicles from the Bavarian company Bailhack have a four-axle superstructure and a large skidding section, which ejects the snow via shafts on the side using two large bucket wheels. The advantage of these vehicles compared to their predecessors is their easier handling. No separate traction unit is required for operation. A total of three 12-cylinder engines drive the machines and ensure that, among other things, the superstructure can be rotated. The N-Gage model from Flashman plays in a special league. A fully functional high-end model that leaves nothing to be desired. The model rolls onto the 1 to 160 tracks fully digitized X-Works. On the one hand, various sounds are reproduced via the integrated decoder, from the driving noise to typical working noises. But the highlight in itself is the wide range of functions. The body of the model can be rotated by 180 degrees at the touch of a button to enable it to work in both directions of travel. The two large bucket wheels can also be activated at the touch of a button. As soon as these turn, the journey can begin and the mighty Colossus sets off to clear the snow. With the implementation of all these functions in the smallest of spaces, Fleischmann once again proves the importance of mechanization and play value in the company. A model that no fan should be without. Universal Genius from Switzerland, the RE442. The locomotives of the class RE442 are regarded as SBB's universal locomotives, which were purchased from 1967 onwards for hauling heavy passenger and goods trains. Some locomotives were painted in TEE colors and used to haul these exclusive, International Express trains. However, the four-axle machines also made a name for themselves in heavy goods train services. Whether it was a short transfer train or a heavy load over the mountains of Switzerland, when things got too heavy, the so-called RE-1010 were also a popular combination. Formed from ARE-44 and ARE-66, they were real powerhouses. The Fleischmann model of the RE-442 was no longer up-to-date over its long life cycle. For this reason, this special locomotive is now being released as a completely new design. Finely detailed, with a particularly elaborately designed roof garden, pantographs without fastening screws and fine engravings. The running gear is also impressive with its delicate bogies. In addition to switchable sound functions, the digital versions of the models also have driver's cab lighting. The new RE442 is the ideal train locomotive for the extensive Fleischmann wagon range. T5 pocket wagon, piggybacking through Europe. The first pocket wagons were built back in the early 1970s and procured by some European railroad administrations. Over time, they were adapted and further developed to meet the constantly increasing requirements. Versatility and flexibility are the key features of the T5 pocket wagon. It is a wagon for transporting mega trailers and conventional semi trailers. For flexible use in combined transport, the pocket wagons have folding latches with ISO pins on the sole bar so that containers and swap bodies can also be accommodated. The use of the T5 pocket wagon thus increases the flexibility of the train compositions. The T5 has thus become an indispensable component of combined transport. Combined transport has been one of Fleischmann's mainstays for many years. Reason enough to now also realize this model as a contemporary replica. Separately attached shunting handles and finely engraved folding latches are just two of the highlights. The models are manufactured using the die-casting process to ensure perfect operating characteristics.